Hello everyone, again welcome back to my YouTube channel Yoga with me. This is Gagan and in today's session we are going to practice of most beautiful strongest power yoga session which will help to increase the strength, mobility, flexibility or also it will help to reduce the weight loss. And guys if you are new here so please subscribe my channel and hit the like button. So let's begin the practice of the power yoga. Now start the session with the one opening mantra, the blessing mantra, and home card sound. So bring your palms in the front of your chest, elbow in one line, shoulders are relaxed. Bring the awareness and awareness around your yoga mat. Start the observation of your breath and observe what's happening within your body and your mind. Now inhale. Second option, you can make the cross leg position. This is your cross leg position, Sanskrit name is Sukhasan. Or you have one more option here, Siddhasan, which is called the half lotus pose. This is your half lotus pose, and the lotus you have one more option, the lotus padmasan. So you have a total four options. You can choose which one you feel comfortable. But you can start with the Sukhasan because it's a very easy and simple study portion. So first make the cross like Sukhasan, spine should be straight. Look front, your drishti gaze, look front. Now inhale, slowly raise the arms up. Now exhale, open your arms to the right and twist your spine, look towards the right shoulder. Now inhale, back up center, and don't forget to smile on your face. Now exhale, look over to the left shoulder. Now inhale, look front, and exhale again to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Now inhale, come center. Now move your palm facing front. Drop your palms in the front of your body. Now walk your palms. Look in the side way. Now from here, walk your palms towards the front. Drop your stomach on your legs and feel amazing stress in your hamstring muscles, also in the quads. Fall it on the ground and stretch the palms, lengthening your spine. Now hold this position, five breaths. 
Adam. Now hold this position. Five, eight, one, two, three. Or if you can't be able to fall it on the ground, so don't bend your neck. Just look in between your palms. Three and roll your shoulders externally. Four and five. Now exhale, head up, work your palms, then raise the arms up. And exhale, release your back side of your back. Now from here, slowly bring your legs back side and directly come into the tabletop position. Directly come into the tabletop position. Your shoulders above the wrist, spreading your finger. Now tuck the toes under and slowly lift your sit bones up higher and stretch your spine towards the left and hug your rib case and stretch the spine towards the leg. Try to connect your belly with your thighs and you can try with the micro band or if you are a practitioner, so bring your legs together, feet together and allow the heels on the mat and roll your shoulders externally, hold your poise on your five breathe. Now from your inhale and paddling your legs one by one. Try to remove the tension from the ankles. Continue paddling your legs one by one, one time right, one time left. Then once you complete the 10 times, then exhale, walk your palms towards the front until you reach in between your palms. Fingers keep on the ground next to the feet. Now hug your elbow here and rest your head in between your arms, hang your head. Now hold this pose and fly breathe and feel a stretch in the calves muscles and the quadriceps. Try to also engage the calves. Now hold your five cut one, two, three, four, and five. Now exhale, fingers keep on the ground. Inhale, lean your spine front. Exchange your spine, inhale all the way, go back, touch your pelvis, look front, and exhale, make the prayer in the front, talk to chest, make the prayer, pranamasana, must be hand side of your thumb. Now ready for the practice of the sequence, first take the half foot from your mat, and the side of your thumb. Now walk, inhale, and exhale. Exhale, make the prayer, shoulders are relaxed, stretch the fractorial muscles. Now to inhale, tilt your pelvis, raise the arms, over the west asan. Then three, exhale, bend forward to the padhastasan. If you can't possible with the knee straight, you can try with the micro bend your knees. Now four, inhale, head up. And slowly step your right leg back to the Aswasan Chalanasan. Right toes point, lift your chest and chin up. Then five, exhale, tuck the right toes under, flex your right foot in. Bring the left foot back. This is the plan. Now inhale, drop your knees on the ground. Now from here, come to the Marjaliasan B. So now inhale, extend your right leg back to walk and make sure you go the shoulder, you go the wrist below the shoulder and inhale now, extend your left arm front. Your wrist in front, gaze at the fixed point and look down, hold your one and engaging the rib case muscles, your quadriceps. Do Now two. Three, four, and five. Now exhale, left palm on the ground. Release the right knee on the ground. Now let it take your wrist and now switch your leg pose and inhale. Exchange your left leg back to our right arm front. Look down and hold here now. One, just five breaths. Softly breathing, breathe out. Two, three, four.
four, and five. Now exhale the right palm on the ground. Then from here come to the puppy pose or the Virasana. Walk your palms front, drop your chest, the chin on the ground. Flex the feet, tuck the toes under. And look between your palms and check the, your lower spine. The second one to your knee in one line. One, four, here, five count. Two. This is also best pose for relieve the back pain. Three, four, and five. Now inhale slightly. Move your body front. Drop your pelvis. Draw your chest on the mat. And press the palms. Lift your chest and chin up. Move your collarbone wider, spreading the finger. Now exhale, flex your feet, tuck the toes under, press the palms, and lift your sit bones up higher. Allow the heels on the mat. The Parvatasana Mountain Pose. Now from your inhale, lift your right leg back to walk. Then exhale, now bring your right knee towards the right armpit or the right elbow. Now four, your five, come one. Engage in the core muscles two. Your right toes point towards the back. Three, set your weight on your arms. Four and five. Now exhale, release your right foot on the ground. Switch your leg pose and inhale, raise the left leg back to up. Exhale, bring your left knee towards the left elbow. Four, your five, four. Three, two, and one. Exhale, left foot on the ground. Now inhale again, bring your right foot front. In between your palms, right foot front. Now from your inhale, and set your left elbow outside of your right thigh. And join your palms in the front of your chest. Then high lunge and the pass for Konasana. Left knee cap lock, continue press the back foot on your mat and twist your abdominal. Look in the side way. So, this is your position. So, this is your position of the Paswakona Sun. One, two, look up, add the look front or look down. Three, four, and five. Exhale, palms on the ground. Right leg back, switch your leg pose and bring your left foot front and exhale. Set your right elbow, set your right elbow outside of your left thigh and twist your hips, twist your spine. Look up, add a look down. One, twist your core abdominal, two, fractorials, twist your hips flexor, four. And five, exhale, look down, palms on the ground. Now exhale, bring your right foot front to the Padhastasan. Now inhale, raise the arms, laying your spine front all the way, go back. Now exhale, make the prayer for Anamasan and the Samastadi. Ready for the next round? One, inhale, now raise the arms up, exhale, Pranamasan. Now two, inhale, slowly now go back, Urdhvastasana. Then three, exhale, bend forward to the Padastasana. Now we are going to the Utkatasana, micro bend the knees, but make sure, do not move your right knee, bend your knee more than your toes. Always reach the toes in one line. And means to vertex in one line. Now inhale, slowly raise the arms up. And at the same time, tuck the tailbone under. Don't do like this. Do not arch your spine. Keep the back to be straight. Make the long shape of your hips. And inhale, raise the arms up. Elevate your shoulder and engage in the quadriceps muscles. If you know the body structure, so it's divided by the two parts. First part from the waist to the below part and second from waist to your upper waist to your upper body. So it's divided by two parts, so engaging the quads and also elevating the front body muscles. One, and pull the belly in, two, engaging the abdominal region, three, 
four and five. Yeah. Slowly set your left elbow outside of your right side and make the prayer to the Utkatasana. Now hold your one, two, three, four and yeah. five. Slowly set your left elbow outside of your right side and make the prayer to the Utkatasana. Now hold your one, two, three, four, and five. Now your palms on the ground, step your left leg back. Now your left knee on the mat, lift your chest and chin up. Exhale, bring your right foot back to the plank position. As you breathe in knees, exhale, Ashtang Namaskarasan. Inhale to the Bhujangasan. Now exhale, go back to the now the Parivartasan. Now inhale, raise the right leg back to walk. Exhale, bring your right knee towards the again right elbow. Stay here. One, two, three, four and five. Now drop your right foot in between your palms. Keep on your feet, steady posture, and thighs parallel to the floor. Head should be square position. Roll your left thigh inward, right thigh externally. Now inhale, make the prayer, the Virabhadrasan A. Or if you want to go more further, then stretch the arms. So hold your one, two, three, four and five now exhale your palms on the ground now exhale right leg back breathing knees and as you breathe out chest to chin on the ground now inhale shoulders are relaxed the bhujangasam exhale flex your feet to the part what does the same thing with the left side inhale bring your left knee in towards the left elbow hold your five four, three, two, and one. Now drop your left foot in between your palms. Then inhale, now raise the arms up. The Virabhadrasan, or you can make the prayer. Hold your walk, if you are a beginner, hold your. Or if you are a practitioner, stretch the arms up. Two, make the prayer. Three, four, and five, exhale, palms on the ground. Now bring your left foot back to the plank position. Now, now we are going to the practice of plank position. So now drop your forearms on the ground and interlock the finger. First come to the plank, sit your weight on your arm. Now from here come to the side plank, open your hands. At the same time, rotate your Ankles, drop your heels on the mat, right foot front, left foot back. Turn your body to the left and then inhale, lift your right arm up. Hold your five count one, the side plank two, add the look front or look down. Engaging the side, raise muscles three and you ask muscles four and five. Exhale, come back to the center. Now change your direction. Now switch your direction, bring the left foot back and slowly lift your left arm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, come back to the center, then back to the plank, knees, high plank, and release the chest, the chin on the ground. Now bring in to the Bhujangasana. Lift your chest and chin up. Now exhale, tuck the toes under and go back to the Parvatasana. Now inhale, bring your left foot front. Aswasanchalanasana, exhale, right foot front, Padahastasana. Now inhale, bend the knees, raise the arms, the arms up and exhale, come to the left side. Before we do the right side, now come to the left. Hold your five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, palms on the ground. 
Now knees straight, inhale, raise the arms so all the way go back. I said, bring your foot down, Avasana. Release your hands, Avasana. Now rise up your hands, bend the knees, and go down your vertex on the ground. Now come to the centering of the yoga mat. Keep the soles together. Now sit in the centering of the yoga mat. Keep the soles together. Interlock the finger, palms under your feet. Inhale and flush your legs up and down. This is the butterfly exercise. The three asan. Keep a smile on your face and stress the hips flexor. Also the pelvis. The hip opener exercise. Now exhale, come back, place your palms behind your spine. Now we are going to the backward bend and press the palms and lift hips up, squeezing the glutes muscles and look up. Then exhale, come back, release your buttocks exhale on the ground. Now open your legs from side, hips flush out. Now we are going to the pushing Motanasan. Inhale, raise the arms up, exhale, bend forward, grab the big toe and first lift front, inhale and exhale, bend your elbow, press the thighs and try to touch your forehead on your knee, if you can possible. So look at the big toe and try to spine, so the straight, hold your five, four, three, and exhale, head up, inhale, lift your arms, exhale, five, so on the ground, shake your thighs. Now bend your knees, scratch your inner thigh with both hands, inhale, inhale, lift your legs, the flex your feet, and raise your palms, finger front, the board pose, now as in five, four, three, two, and one now hug your knees and rocking your body left and right five times one two for the massage your spine three four and five now exhale lay down back and separate your legs according to the yoga mat fingers out open and try to relax two, three to five minutes. Relax here. And take a deep breath in the stomach out. And deep breath out the stomach down. Now relax, feel that. Calm your all the body parts, calm your breath, relax your all the body, your breathing. Relax your each body parts. Then after once you complete the five minutes, the legs together, feet together, gently move all the body parts. Bring your hands behind off your head, interlock the finger, flip your palms and stretch the body backward and forward, the Tadasan. Then micro bend the knees and slide, take a turn your body to the right, palms on the ground. Then walk your palms and come into the centering of the yoga mat. Eyes remain are close, chin parallel to the floor and sit and meditate position. Now we are going to finish this lesson, make the prayer. We will chant Om Kar Sam and Santi Mantra. Inhale.
for all they've done in the previous day. Thanks to the good friends today. Right up. Gently open your eyes by doing inside of your palms. Beautiful smile on your face. And namaste. Thank you for joining all of everyone. And inhale, head up. Exhale, release your hands. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, please let me know how you feel, how you feeling this sequence. And if you have any questions, confusion, so please write to us in the comments box. Or if you want to do the practice with me in the online yoga session, so please write in the comments box. So thank you for joining me and please subscribe my channel, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Namaste. See you in the next video.